Thankfully, only minor injuries after this. A FedEx truck crashing into a car on the thruway. The task, though, of removing that tractor trailer left dangling, proving difficult. At this job, it's uh, going to be for a tractor trailer hanging off the bridge. Had he come down onto the road, I, I don't think that this would have been a survivable accident. Good evening, I'm Matt Malloy. Don is off. That truck finally lowered to the road below within this past hour. 13 WAMS Natalie Calzatoni has been covering this crash from that scene all day. And Natalie, still work to be done behind you there. Matt, this part of Menden Center Road is still closed and it's unclear when it'll reopen. As you can see behind me, crews have safely lowered the truck onto the ground and they're working to clean up the crash and fix that guardrail. At this job, it's uh, going to be for a tractor trailer hanging off the bridge that's bulky. It's five miles east of exit 46. It is hanging over uh, one of the big Henrietta Fire Chief Mark Chalich says the driver of this FedEx truck was sitting on the side of the road when first responders arrived to the scene. Both trailers, fortunately, are empty. Had those trailers been full, I can virtually guarantee you that the entirety of that wreck would have been down onto Pittsburgh's, uh, Pittsburgh Menden Center Road and probably not survivable at that point. Sometimes, uh, the man upstairs is smiling at you and saying it's not your time, and that, that's what he got today. State police say the tractor trailer was traveling east on I-90 around 8.30 Thursday morning when it sideswiped a disabled vehicle with four people inside, including a baby. The rig overturned and went over the guide rail on the overpass to Menden Center Road below. The FedEx driver managed to climb out of the cab with the truck left dangling from the bridge. You've got a very heavy vehicle going at a very high speed, right, 65, 70 miles an hour. And, you know, physics takes over at that point. And this one just happened to flop in the right way that he didn't get killed. Crews spent the day cleaning debris scattered across the crash site, including the truck engine and close to 100 gallons of diesel fuel that was spilled. You can actually smell the diesel that spilled, and we're told that the DEC is going to investigate the environmental impact after this area clears. The State Department of Transportation will assess the integrity of the overpass, making sure it's safe to reopen the right lane of I-90. Trooper Linnea Crane says there will be extended delays on the thruway. They're talking into over the night uh, with the tractor trailer, so they're going to try to at least get it down on this roadway. They'll put cones out on I-90, uh, so it'll close down just that small section of roadway right there over the bridge uh, to keep traffic flowing on I-90. That's our main concern at this point, and then we'll clean up the roadway down here. An investigation into the cause of this crash is underway and drivers are encouraged to avoid this part of I-90. Matt.